South Bay, this Memorial Day focused not only on those fallen service members, but also the nine VTA employees who lost their lives in that mass shooting last week. NBC Barry's Miriam Favreau is live at a memorial that just continues to grow outside San Jose City Hall. And really, Marianne, this has kind of become the place where people come and mourn and remember. And especially for the community, it's a place that they can honor those who gave so much for their community, getting them to and from throughout the area. Now, this is the memorial for the nine victims of VTA shooting. And you can see that today on this Memorial Day, many people came by and dropped off flags and red, white, and blue flowers to honor the fallen. Belinda Ahmed of San Jose and her husband, Lawan, brought a patriotic bouquet to honor nine VTA employees murdered last week. They say they felt a kinship with the nine who gave back to their community, even during a pandemic. Today is a big day, Memorial Day, and when we saw this event happen with the uh, officials of the VTA getting killed like this, we felt that it's just we have to come down here and pay our respect. At Oak Hill Memorial Park in San Jose, more than 100 gathered to remember service members who died for our country. California State Senator Dave Cortese also took a moment to honor the nine VTA workers gunned down by their co worker. They too decided to serve their community, serve their city, serve their county, in a sense, serve their country, connecting people. They decided on careers of public service. Exactly the kind of careers that our fallen soldiers were trying to protect. One of the VTA shooting victims, Timothy Romo, was an Air Force veteran himself. Cortese says more should be done to protect all workers. We have to redouble our efforts here at home to make sure that the peacetime, the peacetime livelihoods that over one million men and women in the history of this country fought for are actually protected, are actually safe. As Belinda leaves the memorial, she is overcome with grief, knowing the emptiness the families of the nine murdered men must be feeling this Memorial Day. I spoke with a VTA representative today who told me that they are working with the victims' families to plan a memorial, but they don't know yet whether it will be a private or public event. Reporting live in San Jose, Marianne Favreau, NBC Bay Area News.